forget her Just keeps on getting better with her hand in mine So we're walking by the shore I've got something to say But words can't describe The way that I feel When I look in her eyes Cause To start off this down to up hairstyle transformation, you will need a comb and a brush and some bobby pins, preferably without the hair. And just an FYI, I've been using this awesome new curly hairline. It's called Jessie Curl. I love the name. I'm using the Rich and Radiant collection and it's for uh, thicker curly dry hair and it cleanses without stripping and without being heavy. It's free of sulfate, silicones, and drying alcohol, and I will definitely be telling you more about it in the future. So let's start with style number one. Since we're starting with the hair down, I just went ahead and did a half down, half up style. This way your hair is out of your face. If you're like me, my hair gets on my last nerve when it's hanging in my face so I just pulled the top piece back and just pinned that in place with a few bobby pins and done I mean that took two seconds right <laughs> For style number two, we are going to kind of create a deep part, or not even a part in the hair, just pull your hair more to one side than the other. And then I'm taking the side and just twisting it up and pulling little pieces as I go to create this cool looking twist effect on one side. With curly hair, it's all about trying to add a little something extra because the curls kind of usually take the show. So this just adds a little pizzazz to a otherwise down kind of look. So that's it. All right, so the last look is the up style, and all I'm doing is kind of sweeping all of my hair to one side. I'm taking it to about the midway point in the back of my head, and using this ancient comb, I know, who uses these anymore, but they hold the hair so well. And I'm just using that to hold my hair in place in the back, and don't worry if it's showing because we are going to cover that up with hair. Then you're going to take the section on top of your head and kind of just section that away for a minute because we're going to use that to create volume in the look in just a second. And then you will be left with, I also kind of sectioned off this front piece too because we're going to create a little something something with that too. Um, and then you're going to be left with this little piece, not in your face, but on the other side of your head. Uh, you're going to use this to just create a loose ponytail. I'm just using a regular elastic band, I'm just wrapping that around twice. And then we're going to create three twists with the hair. And there's no rhyme or reason to this, honestly. I just kind of twist the hair. I kind of leave it really loose and then kind of twist it around and put it wherever I want it and then put a pin in it. And then after I kind of do this all over, I will play around with the style until I get the kind of shape that I want. So just repeat this with the pieces that are left and then kind of situate it until you are happy with the uh, look of the style. The cool thing about having curly hair is that the messier the style, the more put together it looks. So then we're going to take that front section and I'm just using a large tooth comb and just kind of back combing it a little bit to create some volume. And then I'm pulling that to the back and just pinning that in place. The little tail piece that we have that's hanging out, that is going to cover up that comb in the back. So I'm just looking in the mirror and trying to figure out where about I want to put my pin so that the comb is covered. Now 
now I'm taking that leftover piece in the front and I'm just going to twist that away from my face just a little bit and then I'm tugging at it just to loosen it up because we want everything to look kind of loose and undone and unstructured because that's how, how I'm going to roll today. And just pin it in place and then you can play around with it until you have the shape that you want. And last but not least, you can add a little pizzazz to your updo by adding a little bit of bling. So I just used this rhinestone headband to create a little more elegant style uh, to the look or elegant touch to the look. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.